Well, hey, folks. It's a double hood day. It's a double hood day. It's Saturday, December 18th, 19th. It's December 19th, Saturday. It's a double hood day. Two days ago, it was 80 degrees. You want to talk about some screwed up weather, man. Two days ago, we were sweating to the oldies. And now, it's Saturday. I'm going out with two guys, and I hope they're really prepared. Because you know this Eagle Scout is beyond prepared. So, we'll see. I see him walking down here. They're Okay, folks, see that spool? There's no line on it. You know why? Because Dale's hooked up to a freaking monster! <laughs> here's, here's Dale. Ear to ear to ear. And, Dale, and Dale's got a monster on a goddamn Lexus 300 float rig fishing and almost getting spooled. Almost getting spooled. I think he's finally gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god, Dale. It's all finally come. This, this isn't fair. This is only supposed to happen on little sissy spinning reels. <laughs> come on now, baby. Oh my god. Getting a little better. You got a little line back. You get a little line back? Back in October, or not October, November, we had three redfish spooled uh, spinner, spinning reels. I had to pull the anchor and go chase them. And I was like, screw that. I'm going back. I'm going to bait casters. Well, guess what? This is the first time we almost had a bait caster completely spooled. <laughs> He's taking all the lines. I thought you were kidding. I thought you were kidding about that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, folks. We'll get back to you. Making progress. Alright, we're back and we froze our asses off all day long and we did really really well besides the 26 pound redfish Dale caught a 26 pound redfish on a float rig but then here's what he also caught so show him Dale serious gator trout Serious gator trout. Got another sweetheart. Another sweetheart. And then we got like a little guys, a couple little guys. A couple yellow mouths. And mangrove snapper. And show them, show them that big old croaker. And a jumbo croaker. Maybe. <laughs> Big old croaker. Yep. Size of a small redfish. So now, uh, how many minutes, Dale, did it take you to bring in your, your redfish? 40. 40? <laughs> At least 40 minutes. No, I think it was like 25. <laughs> yeah. Felt like 40. <laughs> felt like, it felt like 40, folks. You know why? Because his hands were frozen stiff. This is true. And, well, I, what, I, I say about 20, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, probably. 25 minutes to bring in that 26 pound red. And how, he almost fooled us twice. Yeah, and all, oh yeah. Well, I showed that earlier. I'm gonna have that footage. And these trout are five pounds a piece, right? I think I measured them at five pounds a piece. We didn't get a ton of trout. But what we got was some serious quality. Now, Anthony, what did you have? Uh, 
he had, a, he had a red fish that was 30 inches. 31 inches almost. Nine pounds. And some trout. And uh, yellow mouth or something too. Yeah. So not a bad day. I thought it was probably one of the better days that I ever had freezing my ass off like there was no tomorrow. So, um, just, you want to wash your hands off or you have to just hang over the side and dip them in the water? Oh, I'm waiting for me to be done? Okay. Well, as we can see, the uh, Freddy Freeloaders here are lined up ready. So we'll get some footage of Freddy the Freeloader. So I'm going to start cleaning fish and they're going to come around like no tomorrow. I'll do that on the hat cam. Where's the bag man? Bag man! And it was, it was small craft advisories all day to folks, small craft. So that goes to show you what you can catch, even on the shittiest days that you'll never go offshore. You'll never go offshore, but you get on the Jenny Wolf, we go places and catch a big whopper stuff. <laughs>